Hello everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So today I really just wanted to film another Let's Talk video. Um, I really like filming these and just sitting down and talking about um, maybe some topics that aren't talked about often or that need to be talked about. So today we are going to talk about body positivity. Now before we go any further, let's define what body positivity is. Body positivity is really just being positive about your body. Yeah, it's as simple as that. <laughs> I really think there's so many people out there that think, oh, body positivity is only for bigger girls who are insecure about themselves. No, that's not the fact at all. Body positivity is for all sizes in both genders. You can be a slimmer female and still struggle with body positivity or you can be a larger male and struggle with body positivity it really doesn't matter now for me personally i have always been a bigger girl i have fluctuated in size as i think most people do but i have always been on the bigger side i have never in my life been considered a skinny or a slim girl when i was younger in late elementary early middle school i was teased for my size which looking back i find it hilarious because the people who made fun of me were bigger than I am. So they must have had something going on with them that was making them self-conscious. But since I was teased at such a young age, I have since then struggled with body positivity from time to time in my life. Now, I can only speak from the point of view of a bigger girl since I have never been slim or skinny or whatever you wanna call it. Um, but contrary to popular belief, even slimmer people can struggle with body positivity. And I never really understood that being a girl who's always been on the bigger side. I never understood that until college. When I was in college, it really hit me that there are girls who are slimmer. There are even girls who are the size at the time that I wanted to be their size that wish they had more curves or that they wish that they were bigger. And that blew my mind because I would look at them and I'd be like, you literally are the exact body type that models and magazines have and that Hollywood is telling me that I should have. Why are you insecure about your body? But from their point of view, they were seeing it as the media is blowing up, how, you, how real women have curves. And so to them, they felt like they did not have the ideal body type and they didn't like their body. And when I realized that fact that literally anyone can struggle with body positivity, it blew my mind. Now again, I think a lot of people think body positivity is really something only girls struggle with, but men struggle with it too. Now my husband has said to me, working at the gym, he feels like he should have more of a beefy, um, bigger muscular type, when in fact he has more lean muscles. So sometimes he feels like he is too skinny and that people at the gym are judging him for that. Me on the other hand, I feel like when I go to the gym, people are looking at me and they realize like, oh, she's his wife? Why did someone who's so fit marry someone who is not? So all of this is basically to say no matter your body type, no matter if you're bigger, you're thinner, if you have beefy muscle, lean muscle, be happy in the skin that you're in. We only have one body for our entire lives. Why don't we be happy with it? Now, I do have a disclaimer for you. If you want to work out and try to lose weight, or if you want to try to gain weight, gain muscle, if you want to change parts about your body, do that. In some cases, it is actually important for your health to do that. So I'm not saying completely disregard your health. But what I am saying is be happy where you're at even before you have achieved those goals. Don't hate yourself just because of what you look like. But anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys would like me to do more videos on body positivity, please let me know in the comments. It's something that I think is really important to talk about. And it's something that I feel like I have been improving on recently. That's not to say that I don't have days where I just absolutely 
absolutely hate my body um, and I struggle with those thoughts. But now if I choose to go to the gym or I choose to eat healthier, it's not because I am obsessed with changing my body or certain parts of it, it's because I want to be healthy. And that is really the important thing is to be healthy and to be happy and love yourself for who you are. Also, one more thing, I do wanna do another YouTuber shout out. So for this week, our YouTuber shout out is Emily Price. Now, she is a bit of a bigger YouTuber than the ones I've been shouting out more recently. She has, I believe, a little over 5,000 subscribers. She might be closer to 6,000 now. Now, she has some really great videos. She does some makeup videos. Um, some that I found really interesting was um, she goes to TJ Maxx and buys makeup from TJ Maxx for really affordable prices. like. Like I'm talking high-end makeup from TJ Maxx for really affordable prices. That blew my mind. So guys, definitely go and check her out. She is super sweet. Um, she has kind of this mission to um, help out smaller YouTubers and I love that about her. So if you guys haven't checked her out yet, definitely go to her channel, check out some of her videos. Make sure to like and subscribe and show her some love. I will leave her links down in the description. But anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to to both like and subscribe to this video if you did enjoy it and you can also follow me on Instagram snapchat and Twitter if you so desire all of the links will be in the description as per usual again thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video Bye.